Welcome back everyone, my name is Elton Martin, we're going to be continuing our let's play of Arcanum. Where we left off last time, we had returned some money to some people that deserved it for Pete. Now we're going to head all the way over here to this Vurdin. Apparently there's a shrine here we need as well. There's an altar. Let's talk to the gnome priest. Yes, my son, might I ask who you are, sir? I'm Edwin Wallows, a priest of the Helsian Order here in Vorden. I want to help you today. Pleasure, Edwin. Do you have a moment to speak? Of course. Tell me about this temple. This temple here is an ancient one, my friend. It's for the god Helsian. You see, long ago there were many gods, and each god represented a particular virtue. A man chose his gods carefully. Religion was a very serious thing. Listen. All the gods were created by the Allfather, who ruled over them and saw that none were more important or more powerful than the others. The balance between gods was well maintained, and no one religion was more powerful than another. What happened? Oh, I suppose it's just the way of things to change. The Panari religion came around. Speaking of Nazruddin and his wisdom, the religion was much easier and more forgiving. The old gods are not that way, and although their voice is faint, you can still hear them, and they still hear those who call to them. We of the Helsian Order still worship the god Helsian. Got a few more questions for you. Tell me about this temple. Nope, that's the same thing. A few more questions about that. Can I make an offering to Helsian? No, sorry, but no one has made a true offering to Helsian here in almost 200 years. Why? Well, two centuries ago, there was an evil pirate named Stringy Pete. He was an absolute devil. There isn't an act of malice, debauchery, or reverence that he didn't commit while sailing the seas of Arcanum. Then one day, he dropped anchor just west of here and found our small village. Actually, that's why I'm here. What do you mean? How could you know about our altar? It's a long story, but I'll tell him the story. Well, I must say, I've never heard anything like that in my entire life. The ghost of Stringy Pete himself trying to right the wrongs he's done. I'm a little flabbergasted myself. So you're here to fit the, fix the altar? Yeah, what do I need to do? It's not as easy as you think. You see, there's rules pertaining to the making of altars. And what are they? Well, the important thing is that the stone come from the ancient dwarven quarry of Torin. The way there is dangerous, and the quarry itself is overrun with monsters and all manner of evil. We are simple folk here, and there's no one here who would survive the trip. Perhaps I could do that. Perhaps you might be able to do so. The stone you'll need to retrieve will be large and heavy. Unless you're very strong, I, rec I recommend you try and find Murgo. He's a half-ogre who works around here. He might be able to help you. Where's the quarry? The Torin quarry is west of here. He and near the base of Stonewall Mountains. He points you to a place on your map. You should be able to find a suitable stone lying around. We are poor folk and can't offer you anything, but a thanks. I'd ask nothing more. To, I'll do so. Thank you for your help. Make sure to find Murgo if you'd like his help. He gestures at you over, making a sign. I wish you the luck, or I wish you luck and the blessing of Halcyon. Okay. Let's roll out. We're going to uh, where? Torin Quarry is right there. Alright, let's wander th Why are there so many gorillas? Come at me, guys. Oh, wait. Actually, we're running low on fatigue. This is fine. Oh, still one more. Alright, everyone's dead that needs to be dead. I'm gonna grab that dagger. He's got chainmail on him. An unidentified bow, too. Damn, he's got just so much magic junk on him. We should probably organize our inventory. Apparently, we don't need these books anymore. But I'm worried. I know that someone. I know that it was told to me that they, they aren't important. I'm gonna give them to. Give him to carry. Along with this blade. And the wine. And you know, just like most things. No, wait. Give me my money back. Don't take the money. There's $6,000 there. That's all my cash. Eventually we'll have a clean inventory. It's going to happen one day. Oh, we just have to pick up the stone? That's it? What do you mean there's no room for that? Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. That is one huge stone. Alright, let's go. I'm actually a little bit impressed. Oh, right. Okay, let's just teleport. Uh, over there. Sometimes the map moves very fast. Greetings, uh, I've returned with the altar stone. You have? That's wonderful. Here, let me take it. He does so. Whoa, that's heavy. Well, this altar fixed in no time. Thank you so much. May Helcian always light your path and show you the truth that awaits us all. 
No way, I need the olive branch. Give. This is our last one that we need for this one. We now have the blessing of Halcyon. But, we should go, go finish Stringy Pete's jump too. Um, let's rest for one hour. Why can't we rest here? Really? Can't wait here in this town? Wait for one hour. The last thing for Stringy Pete was to break that sword, which was up here somewhere. No, wait, way up here somewhere. The deeps. Okay. In we go. Where's the sword? Don't tell me you picked up the sword. Did you sticky fingers the sword? No, it's a dagger. Oh, there it is. There's a felchin. Is that the sword in question? No, that's just a normal sword. Is it right outside? Hmm. Maybe we can find the sword as we wander through? I thought he said it was in the middle of all the dead friends, though. No. Can I just quickly check this? Cause like, why are we in combat? <laughs> Don't know why there's combat music. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff in here. It's like the greatest chest in the world. Holy crap, there's so much stuff here. It's still not helping me with the, um, this situation. Let's go back outside for a sec. The deeps, okay. Just seeing where the sword is supposed to be. You know what, let's just wing it. Worst case, we just clear out this whole place and then we find the sword later. Kind of looks like it could be a sword thingy on the ground there. So these guys got a lot of life. Okay. I thought it would have been right there. I'm gonna go back and... Can we rest? Oh, oh there's a chest here. It's not as good as the other chest, arguably. Are we allowed to rest in here? No, of course not. Let's head back outside, rest for an hour, we'll come back in. I know we have a bunch of uh, fatigue potions at the moment, but... Alrighty. Okay, so I did check. We haven't found the chest yet, and it's not going to be near us for a while. It's at the very end. Okay, got it. He just said he dropped it in the beginning, and like, 
I was looking in the beginning and there was nothing there. So I wanted to be sure we weren't going to miss it. That it didn't like, this isn't bugged out and it wasn't gone forever. But it wasn't, so we're good. Seething masses up ahead, we can kill them pretty easily. Five, six, seven, okay, so that's good. Five, six, seven, still cost effective. Murdered them all. I missed chest. We got some small armor, a black diamond, ruby, potion of haste. Down a fatigue potion. Let's continue on. Save. We haven't saved. Oh, shit. Don't crash, please. Save. Nice. Okay, we're good. There's also something on the ground there. Another black diamond. Fire elementals. They're called flame shades. We did gain a level. I heard the sound. What do we want at this point of the game? We don't really need haggling. We don't really need healing or gambling or anything like that. We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need any of the combat skills. I guess we could maybe do some magic of some sort, like... Like what, though? Any of these give us anything useful up to this point? Can't get that. What's PE? A perception or something like that? Yeah. Ranged weapons. We already have maxed out all of that. Beauty. Charisma. We already maxed out. We could just get straight fatigue. Although that seems silly. There's nothing really else I want, I don't think, at this point. I guess we can go for polymorph. We could get polymorph by the end of the game, I guess. Alright, good enough. Hello, weird creatures. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill all of you. Oh, you're still alive. Uh, I don't think we actually need to kill you, but fine. Okay. There's a chest. It's got a weird... It's got a staff. Which I'm gonna. Oh, well, okay. I just more wanted the staff, but fine. It is done. Oops, don't do that. It is done. Okay. There is. several things in here. Do I think that that's enough? Fatigue? Ah, oh, we can always chug potions if we need to. Oh, there's still one more. Uh, we need a fatigue potion. Alright, everything's dead that needs to be dead. Were you wearing anything? You have an axe. I do want this axe. I don't know why I want this axe. But I do. So we move the staff there. There we go. Okay, let's save. It is done. Nope. It is done. There's the scourge. It does a lot of damage. Harm, lightning, quench life. A lot of loot here too. Yeah, I need to give you. I need to give you that to hold on to. I guess. We can just drop that. Anyways. I need this. I need to make room for that. And we just dump it in here. And that's it. We had successfully done all of Stringy Pete's things. We could have gotten a much cheaper boat. That's okay. Let's go tell Stringy Pete the good news. Then we can start doing the next round of altar stuff, I guess. We've done one of them. We did Torgs already. Done all the tasks. Is there anything else? That's all, matey. Will you help me? Can you do these things? I give you my word as a pirate. Oh, wait. I'll do it. I'll do that, Pete. We already did this. I've done what needed to be done. That's amazing, laddie. 
Never thought you'd be able to do it. Never thought that someday I'd be free of this bloody curse. Thank you. From the bottom of your pirate heart. It's nothing, Pete. Now about that boat. Yes, of course, matey. She's all yours. Feel free to take her wherever you want. I'll not be needing her where I'd be going. Thanks, Pete. Good luck to you. You didn't drop any loot. But now we have a boat. Alrighty, I am back. So after so much, so many attempts to get this to work, I'm not going to be doing the altar quest. It just crashes endlessly when I try and go to some of the altars. So we're going to just pretend like we got the altars, and I'm going to just explain what happens at the end of them. So once you do all the altars, uh, there's a big altar w in the wastes that we're going to come across. You step on it, you die, and then um, Virgil will resurrect you if you have a resurrection scroll. Unfortunately, I, I just can't get the altar quest to work. It crashes too much, and I'm just, I've reached the amount of time I'm willing to spend trying to get it to work. So, that's where we're at. Where am I supposed to go in this place, by the way? We're supposed to be finding the magical MacGuffin, so let's go crisscross the waste and see if we can find... There's a Dark Elf something there. Dark Elf Camp. Let's take a look at it. Hello, Dark Elves? There is... Nobody here. There is a barrel. It is empty. And, uh... Yeah, not a whole lot going on. All right, let's crisscross the wastes, see what we can find. Other than this camp, that is apparently abandoned. Lots of spiders. Oh, as an aside, we did also get to be level uh, 50, so I'm going to grab my last couple things. I've spent so much time crisscrossing the world trying to... So I spent like probably a good 45 minutes, an hour or so. Trying to approach different shrines from different directions, teleport them in different ways. Watching the game crash, reloading. That plague is that's a terrifying creature, that weird spot like a drider. Almost like a Okay, we don't need to fight every three feet. I get it. This place is a dangerous place full of creatures. I just kinda wanna know where we're going here. Lots of spiders, though. So many spiders. Dread spiders and all that kind of stuff. Where are we going? Oh my god. This is actually painful. Did we just crash? No. Okay. Oh, that's Virgil's little icon. Okay. Okay. Yet another one. Here we go. Don't get me wrong. I like the combat in this game as much as anyone. It's pretty good now that I've gotten the hang of it. You don't need that many fights. Maybe... Well, the Dark Elf Camp is there. Do we think that the place is near... This is actually getting more annoying than it was fun. I may just try and figure out where we're supposed to go. I'm gonna go across the words. I think that might be for the best bet. Nope. Nothing yet. Okay. Ah, uh, crashed. Come on, game. And if it sounds like I'm frustrated, it's because I've been spending so many hours crashing in this game. It's a good game, but oh my god, it's trying to drive me insane. This is why we're pushing towards the end. I need this game to be over. <laughs> Not because I don't like it, just because it's frustrating. Maybe we're supposed to talk to that halfling at the beginning of the wastes. 
Who are you? I'm Waldo Rubin, a renowned halfling adventurer at your service, sir. What are you doing out here, Waldo? Why well, adventuring, of course. What a better place to explore than the dreaded wastes of Vendagroth. See any cities out there? It's pretty empty out there, and I haven't been out exploring all that long, but I found this one city way out in the waste, surrounded by shifting sands. No res let in or out of the place. Please continue. No obvious entrance, so I climbed the surrounding wall. From the vantage I can see the whole place. Anyone live there? Yeah, there are lots of people inside. Lots of different races. Everyone was wearing robes and acting very polite at all. And all. Should you go inside? No, I climbed back down and left. Bigger folk have their own ways, and I won't be disturbing them. Show me where it is. Goodbye. Oh, it's two lots up there. Okay. Well, there, at least know where a city is. We were almost right on top of it before, but apparently we just couldn't find it. Come on, game. Get us to Tula. I would kill you just to get us to the city so that we can find the stuff we came here for and move towards the end of the game because I can't deal with this many crashes anymore. Sometimes it works so well for like a while and then it will just fall apart and nothing will work. Also, there's a lot of enemies in this desert. Come on, Kitatula. How did the halfling survive? Like, I've fought a million spiders on this way on the way to the city. Please, Mr. Tula, are you there? Yes, we made it. Saving. How do I go into here? It's got some ominous music playing. Okay. Not that way, apparently. Let's go this way. Is there no way into- oh, is it person- okay, I'll talk to the elf guard. What is this place? He looks over for a moment before responding. Ah, oh, it is you. Jorian told us to be expecting you. You may enter. Thank you, but who is Jorian and what is this place? Jorian the Diviner. He's inside waiting for you. And this place, this place is Tula, City of Mages. Tender just walks through the pillars. Guardians? A pool. Which is a pretty cool looking pool. Let's go into the this place. I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to go. Where is Jorian? Are you Jorian? This old wizen figure doesn't react to your approach. You can't even be certain he's seen you. Oh, excuse me? Not the wanderer. You are to speak with Simeon Tor. I am? A wry smile crosses his face, and he continues as if you had not spoken. Before you may see him, you must do something for me first. I need vital information. The fate of Arcanum hangs in the balance. That may be. But Nazardin sent me. I don't have much time. That's not how I see it. Then you know what I'm doing? Perhaps. Then let me in and stop playing these games. That's not how this works. Okay, what do I need to do? Go and gaze upon the mural in the main hall. It's near a glowing circle on the floor. I'm certain you must have passed it on your way here, and then you may enter see Simeon Tor. Okay, I'll go look at it. Doesn't sound too bad, honestly. That's gotta be it. The Mural of Enlightenment. Okay. Now we go back up. I guess. Why'd you have me look at the mural? Because that's what you needed to do. That's not an answer. That's the only answer there is. I can see this will lead nowhere. Good day. Oh my god. You've come seeking information? Before you send Simeon Tor, a master mage of all Tula, his awesome power is evident in even his slightest gesture as he motions you closer. He studies you for a moment. The experience is a bit unnerving. Nazarene has sent me to find the location of the Vendigroth ruins. Pelosian. Pelosium is the only one who can answer that question for you. He lets the name hang in the air a few moments before continuing. Where can I speak with this Pelosian? How? How is the question, not where? Pelosium is dead. Has been for a thousand years. Okay, then how do I speak with no him? No one knows. 
Since his death, he has appeared above Pelosium's pool every night at midnight. He floats there for an hour and then fades away. No one has ever been able to coax him to speak. You must find a way to bring his voice forth. Okay, how do you suggest I proceed? The answers are yours to find, Wanderer. Perhaps Pelosian's history might yield some clues for you. All right, who was Pelosian? Pelosian, clairvoyant artist, poet, founder of Tula, and above all, master of summoning. Hearing tales of him in my youth is what led me to summoning, actually. Okay. What can you tell me about his art? He was an artist of great talent. His paintings are said to help those who meditate on them become closer to achieving oneness. His best work, in my opinion, is the aptly named Mural of Enlightenment. Okay. Jorian sent me to see that mural before he would let me in here. Really? That's interesting. Who is a Jorian fellow anyways? Jorian is the master of divination here in Tula. A bit of a clairvoyant in him there is. Jorian never has anyone do anything for no reason. Of that you can be certain. He knows more than he is letting on, I feel. Well, I'll go speak with him further then. It will do you no good. He has revealed everything he is going to. And if I know him, it was not very much. What is the mural meant to represent? No one knows, really. The largest symbol is thought to represent a lost college of magic, but no one can say for sure. You said he was the founder of Tula? Colosian was born to great wealth, but his spirit was that of a wandering mystic. It would not allow him to live a life of leisure. When in his travels he found only arrogance, greed, and the thirst for power among the sorcerers of his day, it troubled his soul greatly. He wandered out into the wasteland, and it was here that he found what he was looking for. Okay, what was he looking for? Clarity. A singular consciousness. A place he could start a new philosophy of magic. He gathered young, promising disciples around him and created this marvelous place. A beacon to all those that would pursue the ways of magic with a pure heart. This is fascinating, but what am I meant to do now? Only you can determine that. Alright, I must be As off. As it must be, you must find your own way. Good day, then. Alright, let's go look around this place some more. This is a magical city, right? It was mentioned that we can learn mastery of magic in some place, so I'm guessing, no one guarantees, that this is that place. I need mastery of... Well, we have a couple spell or a couple schools we can become masters in. Actually, if we look at our character thing, we could probably master conveyance. We can probably master. Well, we can definitely master force, which does have disintegrate. Be nice. We could master meta, though that doesn't seem to be particularly useful. I did grab shrink, and I don't know. Don't know why or even matters at this point but okay we do have two points right we should probably pick some stuff you're a polymorph because why not uh who are you you're a master mage of some sort what do you want greetings master may i ask what college you've mastered temporal magic i am departing temporal magic is not the one we want who are you Summoning. We're going to find the one we want. Oh, they have flags on the wall. That might be a, more of a sign, but that's okay. The Phantasm? Okay, that's not the one, I don't think. How are you? Necromatic. I wish I could do necromatic magic, but we are not mastered in that. Oh, necromantic white and black are different. Hang on, let's take a look at our let's take a look at our our things here. 
What is necromatic? Oh, necromatic white was the healing ones. Necromatic black are the harm ones. Okay. But we didn't get any more than the first level spell, which is, by the way, our most... This is very clearly some sort of summoner person or, like, master of nature. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a lot of animals in there, and I'm guessing... Morphing magic. We could ask her about that girl in Caledon that has, uh... Was a werewolf, but we kind of killed her, so that's not a thing we can do. Man, where's our force magic person? That's the only one I really care about right now. Mental? Getting there. It's gotta be one of these. Master of Force, honored to meet you. Um, you have become proficient in all areas of force. I offer my congratulations, as I'm sure you're quite proud of the power you command. Did you find it difficult to master the disintegrate spell? I was a natural, sir. Hmm, you have a strong aura of magic about you. I wonder if you might be interested in becoming a master in the College of Force. What do I need to do? To become a master, you must first pass a difficult and dangerous test. Those who succeed are rewarded with a great gift. The knowledge to catch each spell in the Master College using half the normal effort. Would you like to become a master? Yeah. I must warn you, though. You may only get mastery in one College of Magic. Do you wish to master the College of Force over all others? Yes. An excellent choice. Here. Take this medallion. When you are prepared to face your test, put it on and proceed over the portal located in the center of our hall. It'll begin your test. Thanks. Okay. Oh no. There it is. No, not that one. Which amulet? Yep, that's the one. The Mastery of Force one. Let's go see what it does for us. Let's save before we crash again. I'm guessing it wants me to use Force Magic as opposed to, uh,. Anything else? I mean, I could have just unlocked the door. I didn't have to blow it up. Am I allowed to use other types of magic? Can't see the enemy. Oh, there's one. I mean, I guess we're allowed to use whatever because we can bring colleagues in here. There's so many of these guys in here. Two more to go. And then we have another portal, and it looks like another room with a giant rider, probably, or something like that. At least we'll get Mastery of Fire, or uh, Force. We'll- oh, there's still way more of these things over there. We're also gonna go explore this shoot that fell asleep. This is fine. Virgil's got this, right? He'll be okay. I just- I use too much fatigue. He's killed one. Come on, you got this, Virgil. Don't. It's fine, I'm just taking a nap. I'll be up soon. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's save. Next portal. Is this the room of the Drider? It is a Siren Queen, it's called. Moving on. Oh, that was it. Okay. Well, we did the trial. Let's go and talk to him now again. I completed the test and became a master of force. Well done, well done indeed. It's few that have congr I've congratulated in such an accomplishment. You'll find your endurance in our college has strengthened by twofold. This will thus you'll feel half the strain for each force spell you cast. Again, I congratulate you. Let's go. Thanks. Cool beans. We got some excellent force magic X mastery, and uh, now we can leave. We'll go explore the city in the next video. There's, it looks like a pretty big place, and there's a bunch of people around probably to talk to, so we'll deal with them.
Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, we'll see you next time. Take care.